The turn of Kiton in the uh, Central Highlands of Victoria to conduct their annual wiener sale on Wednesday. Uh, Dean Coxon joins me. Dean, 1600 yarded. Um, a very good lineup of cattle that have uh, wintered uh, and uh, done well on a, on a spring that failed, basically. Um, but a colossal sale. Uh, you would be very, very happy. In places, some of the dearest that's been sold through the south and southwest um, for uh, for the fortnight. Yeah, Murray, I think. It's for the fortnight of the wiener calves. It's probably got deer and deer. We've probably landed right in the in the prime spot. Um, as you say, we had a, did have a short spring, but we had a very good autumn. So we had weight right through our calves. There was not many calves under 300 kilos in the steers, and you know not many not many heifers under that sort of 260. Um, and they were very very well bred. Um, and yeah, we had a colossal lineup, and and the result followed. So it was great. Yeah, the tops of the Angus calves, uh, $940 for 360 kilos, 255. Uh, um, that's going to take a fair bit of beating around the traps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bought um, they were a count Barfold beef, Ray and Mark Shea out here at Barfold, and uh, bought by a, a, a local, a, a repeat buyer who uh, who's done very very well out of them. They they really perform. Um, so you know a lot of these people have. It looks like they're paying a lot of money now, but they've you know they've turned their bullocks over at, at big money, you know thirteen to fifteen hundred dollars for their bullocks. So um, eight nine hundred, it's not as bad as it seems once you've got that to, to tip back in. So. Yeah. Um, on that note, you had a good base of local um, local graziers here that was pe prepared to uh, get up in the stirrups and um, and pay that sort of money, push the uh, the two big feeders uh, right to the limits uh, on a lot of pens. Yeah, it was great. Um, as I say. You know, only reflective of what we've, we've got probably since Christmas. We sold a lot of cattle since Christmas at, at, at these these new higher rates, um, so they're geared up to, to know that their wieners are going to cost them more, and and they've they've hopped into the cattle that they've had before, or that they you know really liked, and there was. There was plenty of pens here that you know you could buy with confidence. It was really, really good. Yeah, the uh, tops of the Hereford calves were the best presented in the yards, $910 uh, at uh, 247 a kilo. Uh, that's going to take a fair bit of stopping yeah, it would, too. It would. A can of Sutton Grain stud. Uh, Frank Mitchell and the team out there, they did a, a ripping job. Then they were they were presented absolutely immaculately. They were they were really, really soft and clean calves, but they'd been weaned and they'd, they'd everything right about them. And uh, and yeah. 247 the result followed which was great yeah uh, on the on your three a lot of runs of calves 230s and 40s were pretty prominent for, for the rest of the day yeah yep yeah you needed 230 to, to to get in the book that's for sure yeah pretty hard to buy a steer under 680 dollars yeah and and with the your heifer market um, a good lineup of heifers uh, and uh, top pens just over the 210 to 220 but once they got off the weight uh, 225, 230, consistently right through. That's it. That's it. Yeah, these lighter cattle, I think, are going to get going to get harder and harder to find. I don't think many people will sell them now with the rates like they are. They'll hang on to them, get some more weight into them. So I think if you do line up a run a lot light cattle that are well bred, they're going to make they're going to make the money right through. Yeah. So uh, three weeks now into our weaner sales, and uh, this job starting to uh, hold on. It's yeah. it struck that level and, and holding on and increasing slightly as it's going forward. Yeah, definitely.